in this tutorial we can learn how to connect or how to link an xml file with the adobe flash cs6 through the action script version 3 according to the spider-man interactive movie there are two buttons on the stage and when the click on the button the image and the text appear on the stage you can see in here spider-man 1 text and the image and the spider-man 2 button will click on that here spider-man 2 and different image appear on the stage so those text and images are manipulated or loaded through the xml file so we can find out what is the way to do this tutorial in here first of all we have to learn what is the xml and what are the rules to write down the xml file in simple way xml is standard for the extensible markup language xml is most same to the html language because html is a markup language and also the xml and uh, why we use the xml we are using the xml tags to identify the data and also used to store and organize the data that means we can store our own data inside of the xml file we can manipulate our own tags and we can store the our data in xml file so you can see the sample in here we have a root element as the message of the on this xml file and we have a, another element that mean another tag inside of the root element root tag that is the text text tag inside of the text tag we have a data as called as hello world in this xml example sample before i turn a xml file there are a few rules we have to learn the first one is all xml must have a root element without a root element that the root element means the primary element or the primary tag of the xml file without a primary tag or the root element without a root element you can't write down any kind of xml file you can see there are a message tag that is the root element of the correct example and the second example we haven't a message tag there are no root element only the text element on there and the other one is all tags must be closed in the html we have to close all the tags it is the same way to do in the xml file if we have uh, some kind of tag in our xml file we have to close those tags properly and the third one is all tags must be properly nested you can see the upper example message tag and text tag and properly nested and the second example message tag is nested but the text tag is the text element is not nested properly so this is the another rule for write down the xml file and after that tag names have strict limits in the xml file that means uh, you cannot use any kind of special uh, keys or the special characters inside of the tags in the incorrect way you can see there are a, there is a tag text sharp that is incorrect and also you cannot start the tag name with the number and also the tag names are case sensitive in the html language tag names are not case sensitive but the xml in the extensible markup language tag names are case sensitive uh, you have to concern that and the other rule is tag names cannot contain spaces it uh, xml not allows spaces inside of the tag names you can create own tags 
inside of the XML, but you have to learn those rules before the write down XML. So how to write down XML files? Uh, we can use any kind of uh, text editor to write down the XML file, such as Notepad or Notepad Double Plus. But in this tutorial, I am preferred the Notepad Double Plus. You can download the Notepad Double Plus in my uh, description. I am. I have. I had uh, give the download link in the description. So uh, after the installation of Notepad Double Plus, uh, you can open the Notepad Double Plus before write down the XML. Go to the setting and the preferences and auto completion part. Uh, so uh, tick down those things, enable auto login function and word function and all the other tick marks. You have to tick on here. Uh, now uh, I can write down the XML file and. Uh, you can see the spider-man 1 and spider-man 2 text uh, here uh, inside of my spider-man interactive movie uh, first of all I'm going to save this uh, XML file inside of the spider-man IM folder as the spider-man data.xml XML file extension is the .xml so I have to uh, create the root element uh, here I am going to uh, create a root element and spider spider-man data uh, you can create any kind of root element here and after that i am create another tag uh, another element inside of the spider-man data uh, the tag name is fcha fcha means i am going to in here first character inside of this first character i am going to uh, write down uh, uh, another element as the topic now uh, you can see the in inside of the topic element I have spider-man one text and uh, after that uh, inside of the root element I am create another element s char s char means the second character in second character uh, tag I am going to write down uh, another topic uh, with the topic tag that means the spider-man 2 now I have uh, two elements inside of the root element uh, f char and s char you can uh, write down the third char, fourth char, fifth char as like that you can manipulate your own tags inside of this root element now uh, my xml file is on here and uh, you can write down and edit with the notepad double plus uh, if you want to edit the xml file so i'm going to the adobe flash interface uh, so do the normal things in here uh, first of all i'm going to uh, clear the stage size and uh, copy my uh, resources in here inside to the folder there are few images and also uh, with the 1280 and 720 uh, dimensions I'm going to uh, place the background image on here and uh, align it correctly and after that I'm going to create a button on here uh, it is a usual way to create the button uh, background layer and text layer uh, spider-man one button on here with the white color uh, in this tutorial I'm going to uh, change the background color as pink and green uh, okay now I have a button in btn spider and uh, duplicate the button as the btn spider 2 then uh, add those buttons into the stage with the new layer button and uh, name those button as btnsp1 and btnsp2 so we can uh, do the action script part with the xml file to connect the xml file in next video